welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is chapter 3 which is related to the random variables and probability distributions and today we are going to solve question 3.11 okay so the statement of this question is a shipment of seven television sets okay so let me underline the figures here okay so seven television sets contain two defective sets okay so let me write here the given data and for given data let me choose the color which is uh, blue so given data here okay so in total of seven televisions we have two defective sets okay a hotel makes a random purchase of three of the sets okay so out of these seven a hotel does what out of these seven a hotel basically select three random purchases okay so this is the graphical illustration which i am i have been telling you okay so if x is the number of defective sets purchased by the hotel okay so out of these three out of these three there can be x defective items as told by us and find the probability distribution of x which is what here here this small x is a member of this capital x which is basically the random variable and i have to express the results graphically as a probability histogram okay so i have to express this one so now in order to solve it let me solve it and let me use this black color so let me solve it and here in order to solve it i know the basic formula of the finding the probability of the event and that is basically the probability of let me have here probability of x is word this is the number of elements or choices in event okay dividing it over the total number of choices okay so this is the basic formula but here in order to find the number of choices in an event what do i have to do let me first underline it and let me choose the color for it uh, let me choose this green for it let me call this equation is equation a okay so now in order to do so we know that the number of elements or choices are how much so let me see that what is this this is basically the problem of a combinatronics okay so here first of all let us see that here we have two defective items and out of these two defective items how many choices will i have i have basically the x number of choices which can be available in these three random choices okay so this x can be either 0 x can be either 0 or 1 or 2 because it cannot exceed 2 because there are basically two defective items but i have to select three so it can either be zero defective item or one defective item or two defective item as a whole but total number of items here we have are two okay when the x number of items are selected so these would be the items which we have so the number of items left will be the three minus x okay so i will have three minus x of x items left here okay and these choices are made for from how many choices which are not defective so the non-defective items here are 7 minus 2 are 5 okay so i hope you have understood that these are basically the number of choices we have here let me repeat it again these are basically the number of defective items and out of these defective items i have to choose any x okay and the value of x are basically lies from 0 to 2 Okay. Similarly, when any of the items are defected, items are selected, the non-defective items left are basically 5, which are 7 minus 2. So, out of those items, I have to select 3 minus x. Why 3 minus x? Because the total number of items the hotel has to collect randomly are 
3 ok so 3 minus x would be the remaining item so therefore i have to make these choices ok so these would be what these would be the choices of the event what but what are the basic total number of choices out of them so here i have seven items and without any bias that either it will contain the defective items or not these are basically the three items okay so seven two three are basically the total number of what these are basically the total number of choices so therefore i have to write it Okay. So, I hope you have understood that what does it mean. So, now in order to solve it what do I have to do? Uh, I have to basically open it. So, it would be 2 factorial divided by the 2 minus x factorial okay, and so on. But before doing it what I have to do? I have to keep here different values of x because I know that either the defective items would be 0, no defective item out of in these 3 item similarly it can either be 1 or it can either be 2 ok. So, let me take here the probability of x equal to 0 for x equal to 0 I have to put here 2 choose 0 ok and here 5 choose 3 ok and similarly here it would be 7 choice 3 ok. So, these would be here similarly let me move down somehow okay so for the second item when p x equal to 1 it would be 2 choice 1 similarly 5 choice 3 minus x is 2 okay and divided by 7 3 so this is what this is the choice in which i have one defective item and two non defective items okay i have to solve it as well and the third case is p x equal to 2 and here it would be what 2 choice 2 ok and here 5 and 3 minus 2 is 1 so here it would be here and here it would be 7 choice 3 ok. So, these are all the choices which we have and now here what do we have here we have two defective items are one non defective item ok. So, when I solved it and I found it here I got 2 by 7 ok you can try it ok. How can you try it? So, let me first tell you that how can you do it let me do it for you ok. So, when you will do it you will do it like 2 factorial divided by 0 factorial and 2 minus 0 factorial. So, it would be 2 factorial multiplied by here 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial and 5 minus 3 is 2 factorial divided by the 7 factorial divided by 3 factorial and 7 minus 3 is how much that is 4 factorial. Finding it out what I will get here I will get let me choose color which is green. So, for it I will get 2 by 7 ok. For this I have got 4 by 7 and for it I have got 1 by 7 ok. So, these are different values of the probabilities let me draw them graphically because it is also told us to draw them graphically. So, first of all let me draw them here here these are the values of x uh, and here we have the value of f of x let me have them here and here we would have here let me draw them here we have different values for as 0 1 and 2 ok. So, let me plot them or draw them here. So, here for 0 the value of f of x is 2 by 7 for 1 I have 4 by 7 and here 1 by 7. Okay. And according to the probability distribution I can also see that by adding 2 by 7 plus 4 by 7 plus 1 by 7 what I will get here I will get 1 which is the basic condition for the probability density function. Okay. I can also plot it let me plot it here as well ok. Let me plot it and this is uh, x and for x different values are here and this is f of x ok. So, we have here different values let me choose another color which is this one ok. So, uh, for the first one I have let me have here 2 by 7 
so for 0 I have here 2 by 7 for 1 I have 4 by 7 and this is let me have here 4 by 7 so it would be here okay so this is 4 by 7 and the last one is 1 by 7 so let me have it here 1 by 7 and this is at 2 so here I will have 1 by 7 okay so what is this this is the PDF plot for our question which we have done here okay so I hope you have understood all the underlying concepts which I have done here and what are basically the choices and how to find them out so I hope it's enough for today if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon